good everyone my name is Nicholas and I will come back to a brand new CAD video today I'll be showing you guys how to set up the signal 100 and the panic button so let's get right into it as you can see I already finished making the designing which will be a just a simple group and two buttons you could get the buttons from here on your left and you could get a group down here so once you had that done design it as much as you like I just made it look simple so what we're going to start with is we're going to go on the data, we're going to make a new field which will be the patrol info and then we're going to make three fields which will be 10-3, panic button and signal 100 and if you go on user make sure that we also have panic button which is a yes or no. So that's going to be the data part then we're gonna have to start with linking the buttons so let's start first when the button is clicked it should make changes to a thing make changes to a thing it's not gonna be current user it's gonna be do a search for panic button and it should be first item signal 100 equals yes then let's get here we're gonna click on disable signal 100 we could copy then paste it here and change it into no now once that's done we're gonna click on this empty event spot it's gonna come up with options go on general when condition is true this will be signal 100 sound on every time and let's make this red it's gonna be do a search for patrol info first item say gonna 100 is a yes now we go on design actually we go on plugins and we get a plugin called howla.js it is better than using javascript since javascript sometimes don't work actually don't work at all it's really bad so do you use a plugin called hello.js and we scroll all the way down we click here and we put it on the bottom wherever you put it it doesn't matter because it wouldn't really show anywhere so let me get a copy of a signal 100 all right once I put my signal 100 on it comes in a form of a URL which I will be leaving down in the description down below make sure that preload is Turned on, no loop, force HTML, that doesn't really matter. The volume should be one. Any higher will sound really loud because 1% is enough. So, we close this. We double click here. We go on the sound. And it should be play howler. And uh, you could name it however you like to name it, depending on how many. Uh, elements you have but it will come up as a b c d and so on so we close this then we copy we make a copy of the condition this time we remove the sound and we're gonna rename it into group this will show up the group so show group c we make one more and this will be blue this time and it's gonna be off just like that uh, signal 100 is no instead of showing group C it's gonna be hide group C just like that so now we're done with the signal 100 make sure you go on data app data and then in patrol info so usually if you started making the data is this is gonna be empty so it's just gonna be like this Make a new entry, set everything to no, and then create it. There we go. So just like that, let's preview it. Let's click on signal 100. And it just played the sound. Now for the MDT, if we go on the MDT, I already have the group in here. I could find it out. No, this is the signal. Let me copy the button from here. 
or actually let me copy the group go on the MDT and then paste it let me put this back all right I'm gonna put this down here so once it turned on it will show the signal 100 we go on the workflow so for it to show up you could you we could copy these three so it's gonna be a copy paste but we also have to copy the howler so we put it down here and then since we have the group which should be group uh, not F it should be group C then we're gonna have to go on the workflow and then copy these Alright, now once you have that done, all you have to do is we're going to have to get a copy of the same page and we're going to call it MDT. Wait for it to turn on. Oh, there you go. That's not supposed to be like that. Okay. Since signal 100 is on, it should show up. And I believe this has to be on too. So play Howler. Play the sound. Refreshing. <laughs> Disabling it. And it still shows up. So let's see why. Group, yes. Oops, this should be no. Alright, just like that. So, signal 100. On. There you go. So, disabling it will make sure that it's disabled. Removes it and removes it here too. So, that's gonna be signal 100. And it's the same method you use for 10.3. But for the group, it's going to be yellow and it's going to be like 10 threes in effect. So let's push into making the panic button. Now, if we go on the MDT page, I already made a group. It's the same way of making this group, but this time, if you click here, it should be panic button pressed by search for users. It's going to be panic button equals yes, which if you guys remember, if you go on user, Panic button is yes, that's how you identify who pressed it. So let's go back to design. It should be signal, it uh, should be, sorry, should be search for users, first item, and it's gonna be current identifier. So we close this and we click on the panic. Then what this is gonna do is it's gonna make changes to a thing, it's gonna be current user panic button is a yes we copy this paste this one is gonna be virtual info first item yes and then we're gonna make three groups but this time this is gonna be for the panic button so let's make another group here it's gonna be panic button sound so since I don't have a panic button sound, I will be using the same one for the uh, signal 100, which should be fine. So the signal 100 is going to play this sound. Let's make another one. This is going to be for the group. This is going to be show group F. Let's make sure it's F. Yep. And then we're going to make one last one, which will be blue. Panic button. Off. Group. That was the group. And the same thing here. Oh, whoops. That's sound. This is group. 
just like that. All right, so show on, and then if this is off, it should be a no. And then it should hide the group F. This should probably do the same thing, but it's gonna set it to no. So do a search for patrolling for first item is a no. And the user will be changed to also a no. Now if we go and test it. What it should do is it should show up with who clicked it. So the officer call sign is one alpha 43. We click on the panic and there it shows one alpha uh, 43. Let's fix the text issue. I'll make it a little larger. Now it should show perfectly. Yep, there you go. And if we disable it, it should be disabled. Now let's do the same thing for the dispatch page. Um, I'm gonna have to copy the image here. All right, once you added the three conditions, we, sh we should be set. Make sure you also added the group. So by refreshing both pages, now clicking on the panic, should send a panic message here, and it will do the same thing here. Clicking on signal 100, we'll set up signal 100. You can hear it twice, it gives you a headache, and it will show up signal 100 here. Same thing with the uh, 10 uh, 3, just by doing the same method for the signal 100. So, I believe that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to slap a like. And if you guys want more, subscribe. If you have any questions or you need support, make sure to join my Discord. I will leave a link down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.